he's playing Purple Rain by Prince. Uh, just playing some chords that you, he's playing the actual chord, the notes are there, but it's just played in a different order. So something just as small as changing the order around. Think about that concept in every style, like a regular bass line that you would play. Displace the notes, change the notes up, take the same exact notes, maybe even the same exact rhythm, and change up the notes, just displace it. The scale, a lick, a phrase, change some notes around, see what it sounds like. Like I wanna show you guys what he did. Uh, I wanna show you guys exactly kind of what he did, what he's doing here in the beginning, what he did. He played an E major nine. So I know we're used to playing the, the inversions and not adding too many uh, chord extensions on top of that, but you can use the same exact concept. The same way we do one, three, five. You can do one, three, five, seven, or one, three, five, seven for a dominant scale. So using all of the elements of the chord or the scale or the arpeggio, it doesn't matter. You can flip those around. You'll have first inversion, second inversion, third inversion, right? So you have those elements that you can use. So what he's doing is the second inversion of an E major nine chord. So simply put, E major nine, I can play that, that way, just that fingering if you want to, if you don't have an open string. Uh, so what he did was he played a B. I think he mentioned, he said, yeah, you play a B on top of that. So what he did, we just played a same chord. So I have all of the notes, the notes are there, right? So I had to configure it in a way that I can actually show you guys to make it a little bit, you know, make it make sense. So we have the E, I'm playing the B, the F sharp, G sharp, right? So think about those notes, E, B, F sharp, G sharp. So what he's doing is playing the second inversion, meaning we got E, G sharp, B, right? He's playing the second inversion, which is that second note of the triad and playing it on the bass, right? All right, so there's my B, there's my nine, which is my F sharp, there's my G sharp, and there's my root note there, right? So all of the notes are accounted for. I'm just playing it in a different order. That's really all it, that, that's really all it was. And I think he played a D. He did the same thing with a D, a D major nine chord, and play the A on the bass. So it's basically just playing the fifth note of whatever key you're in on the bass and just switching it. 